little area. He's got to push it over another three squares. Um, actually, it's going to be a spirit lodge, but, you know, if he hadn't done that, he could fit uh, probably uh, more buildings in and not have to build them outside to the left. But whatever, I mean, I'm not going to... I mean, it's not a game-ending decision. Fly wins this game, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> but you'll see, he continues to creep, and he's going to get these last two creeps, gaining enough experience to then level to two, uh, which is effective. He's got three grunts. He's staying at three grunts, which is an important choice. He lost that peon, which is going to actually allow him... Actually, it's not It's not, it's not going to matter because of that burrow. Um, but he's going to do something funny here, which actually is, I would say, an adaptive choice to going against Huntresses. Because one thing that's very annoying in this matchup <clears throat> is they pick up their tier 2 here, and they're like, LOL, I have Huntresses and two heroes, I'm going to fuck you in the ass. Not literally, because that would be gay, and Remind is the pimpest man ever, and would never fuck a guy. Um, but, you know, we'll see. So, yeah, there's some grunts and stuff. Um, he's chopping down some ogres, you know, stuff like that, cool stuff. Just getting a lot of creeping down, he's healing his, be he's healing his blade master while creeping, he just makes sure that he's not tanking, which is a good choice. Um, so gets that all done, salves up his berserker, and lots of experience right there, not bad. And notice he gets it done before tier 2 hits, because Remind, by going Huntresses, and that's um, an important choice, you saw he was going Huntresses, has a later tier 2 tech than you would otherwise have. You're spending another 100 lumber that you wouldn't by getting a Huntress Hall. I mean, it's still going to be two Moonwells, still going to be an Ancient of War, you know, an X number of Wisps. But you'll notice that he can get Spirit Lodge up, but not the Bestiary on the right-hand side, which you would have otherwise gotten. Instead, the Bestiary goes up on the left-hand side. And if Remind had went Beastmaster right now, he'd be able to push, cancel the salves, do some damage. Now, granted, having that Troll Berserker and Shadow Priest means a lot, because you can heal Injured Grunts without salves, you can hit your Blade Master. You can do, you know, 30 damage a shot to Huntresses, or 50 damage a shot if you're a Troll Berserker, which is imbalanced. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, that, it's very effective. So, Shadow Priest. Wow, Shadow Priest. No. Shadow Hunter. I mean, if I was going to get it wrong, I'd say, you know, Rasta the Shadow Shaman, but whatever. Shadow Hunter comes out. Grunt's doing some more creeping. Gets level 3. That's important. Level 3 Blade Masters are one of the most rigged level 3 heroes in the game. Um, really, any level 3 hero is rigged. Archmage, Demon Hunter, Blade Master, Beast Master. Oh, yeah, any hero that's level 3 is pretty much rigged. Those are amazing levels. Level 3 is, is ridiculously good. Level 2 Stormbolt is probably the least upgrade. Just 100 damage on a stun, not a big deal. 100 damage on an actual nuking spell like Coil, big deal. Um, I mean, it, it, what I say that is that its main purpose is to deal damage, not just to stun. You know, if you don't increase stun duration, no one cares. So, he has shown up, notice that those peons go in those burrows, but he loses a gold peon, and now he's using some gold, but those three huntresses and the two heroes are doing some damage. Holy crap, he farmed a sacred relic on the Keeper of the Grove. Oh, people are so dumb, why do you get Radiance on Intel Heroes? Such a dumb idea. What a new. Anyway, so, he has double staff though, which is going to be nice, because he can staff home the Keeper and then staff it back, and that is why he has a double staff right there. It allows you to say, fuck you, don't right click my Keeper of the Grove, I hate you. Suck a dick. Um, yeah. So, he runs back there with some crap. He's level 3 and has Hex. And has Spirit Walkers. Yeah, kind of a slow push that Remind. Way to suck. Way to go, noob. Just, just, you know... Way to be bad. Way to be bad. I mean, whatever. Anyway, so Blade Master running around. Finds his opponent's army. He's gonna, you know, chill out for a little bit. He's gonna chill out. He's gonna bro out. Um, meanwhile, the Shadow Hunter, uh, it's now his turn to get level 3. Now you'll notice, as it should not actually pick a skill yet, because why do you need it? You're not going to use your spells creeping. Um, no dust means you better steal that rock golem fly. Oh my gosh, if you don't do it, I'm going to cut you. Um, across the wrist. Wrist. Vertically. Oh, dust! Doesn't matter. Okay, remind you're a retard. Um, Grat's not even- wow. Epic fail. He dusts and then doesn't kill the Blade Master. Good job. Good job pressing E and clicking. Oh, wait. Um, so that is one reason why I am better than you. <coughs> and pros. Because I can actually do that, unlike some people. But the Shadow Hunter is creeping, getting level 2.5. You know, one more Orange Camp to go. Uh, I don't know if he'll quite get it from the Orange Camp right north of him, but we'll see. <coughs> Blade Master just running around, trying to find Remind. Actually, he's trying to hide from Remind for a second. He actually wakes up the creeps real fast and pulls him to the Shadow Hunter to expediate the creeping. Yes, three syllable words are awesome. Ex four syllable words are awesome. <coughs> I can count, guys. <laughs> okay, so anyway, creeping out. I would not recommend using the. Oh, never mind. He XP some. Luck hacks. Hi. 
Um, I otherwise would not recommend using the Blade Master there because uh, there's something called, you know, sharing the experience, which uh, is in balance. Um, but whatever, he trades the TP after the SH, so that if he gets creep jacked, he can TP out and not lose, you know, his entire army. Um, meanwhile, the Blade Master, he's going to tough it out with his Invul Pot and zero mana. Um, and, oh look, a Keep of the Grove and some bears. Okay. So, uh, pause the game real quick. Pause, sorry, in three, two, one, pause. We are at 937. 937, 937. Have the game paused. Have, okay. Um, I forgot to mention what things were adaptations. Shadow Hunter um, is an adaptation to going versus Huntresses, or more commonly, a Huntress Hall in general. You can open with a Archers, or with Huntresses, or with really nothing if you really want to try. Basically, um, if they open with Huntresses, you obviously know that they have a Hunter's Hall. If they do not and they go Archers, you will have to scout for a Hunter's Hall or just guess. But by going Huntresses first, he knows that Remind is going Bears. Um, and when you are against bears, you go Shadow Hunter. When you are not against bears, you go Torn Chieftain. Now, if you get duped and you're like, oh shit, he actually tricked me, um, then with your Torn Chieftain, you would go Stomp instead of Shockwave if you're against bears. Um, but you'll notice that the SH is going Hex and Heal. Actually, you went Ward and Heal, I take it back. LOL, Hex and Heal. Er. But you'll notice that by saving the point, which he possibly would have used on Hex, he got Wards instead, which is going to be some damage output. Um... And yeah, considering that there is that dried out there, and that the dried presumably, presumably, yeah, sure, uh, has abolished magic and is not auto casting, he can manual abolish hex uh, repeatedly, um, which means that's kind of going to be useless. So, um, yeah, you know, you can't dispel heal, you can't dispel wards. It's going to be some free damage output, and you notice right away, just you know, the ensnare that Huntress.